It's a video tutorial about how to tune files merging for WebSite speedup for Joomla. First of all, let's go to our Joomla website and see its source code. Here we have a lot of a lot of different files in uh, here section, a lot of scripts, a lot of styles, and uh, sometimes styles are mixed with uh, scripts. Uh, WebSite speedup can handle all these client side issues, so we can just start tuning it. Let's uh, apply a basic uh, configuration and uh, enable our application or get its debugged uh, via get parameter or via cookie. If we are using a test website, as in this case, uh, we can just enable application. It will create all, all the required cache files and, uh, and we can just our website optimized. Hmm. In one moment, yes. So in our um, source code we will have one style sheet loaded in the very beginning of the page and uh, one script file um, somewhere in the end of the head and uh, seems it's all okay. Uh, you can have uh, sometimes some bugs with uh, styles and uh, some bugs with scripts after automatic merging. Uh, so let's see how they can be prevented or tuned. Uh, for example, we have here yes uh, JavaScript error, and uh, we need uh, to somehow resolve it. Uh, we need to uh, uh, to get list of all loaded files. You can do this with uh, Wiselaw uh, extension for Firefox, and uh, just go to uh, the components, uh, so open JS. Uh, 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 GS tab and see there are two files actually loaded. This one is loaded uh, uh, in the page body. So uh, this one is the website speed up cached uh, and merged file, and this one is loaded on uh, on safe uh, JavaScript merging uh, logic. So we can just copy uh, this uh, file name for the future and go to our website speed up interface to tune it. Uh, to tune files merging, we need to select our active configuration and just click. We will uh, get into all our uh, options and uh, you can see there are a lot of options to tune. First of all, uh, to fix JavaScript error, we can uh, either uh, uh, disable safe combine mode because it's very safe and sometimes uh, it, can, uh, it can be very strict to any type of JavaScript errors. Also, we can uh, just exclude uh, our uh, our uh, script from merging logic. So we have uh, instead of one JavaScript file, two files. It's not uh, very good, but uh, this will fix uh, our JavaScript uh, trouble. So we can just apply settings. Yes, so all settings have been saved, and uh, uh, refresh our cache. Uh, so cache is uh, being refreshed, and uh, after after this operation, we can go here and uh, reload the page. And yes, we have no JavaScript errors. But uh, if you look into the source code, you will see uh, here is uh, yes our problematic uh, script and uh, our merged script. We can just uh, or we can also try to. <coughs> Disable a set combined mode. Uh, please note uh, when you change any uh, default settings, uh, your configuration uh, is saved and uh, and in your name, so you can just rename it. Maybe basic new. So we can go to combine JavaScript, uh, disable this uh, file exclusion, and uh, just disable set combined mode. Also, some troubles can be caused by uh, min minifier, but we uh, right now we don't have any minified JS in our merged file. So we can uh, apply our settings. Uh, settings uh, have been saved and uh, refresh cache. Yes, once more. So right now we go to the website, uh, reload the page, and yes, we also have no uh, JavaScript errors. And uh, yes, we have only one uh, CSS file and uh, only one JS file. That's great. 
uh, to continue tuning uh, files merging we can also try to uh, to combine all CSS files in uh, head and body tags because as you remember as you remember why slow uh, shows us so there are two CSS file and uh, two JavaScript files so we need to merge them uh, let's go to our web site speed up interface so just uh, just enable combine all CSS in head and body text and uh, the same for JavaScript. Also we can uh, try to uh, minify all files with JSMEAN which uh, can save us about 5-7% more uh, over XZIP and we have uh, XZIP for these files enabled already and uh, apply all settings, uh, yes and uh, refresh cache okay um, our cache is being refreshed and uh, we go to our website uh, then and uh, reload it and uh, it seems yes uh, we don't have any uh, JavaScript errors for this page uh, for uh, for wise law we have only one uh, uh, JavaScript file and only one CSS file. It's great. Also for for the home page we have the same situation. Uh, only only one CSS file and only one JavaScript file. Uh, you can also <coughs> tune uh, JavaScript file uh, JavaScript file position. Uh, if you have some troubles with uh, with inline uh, JavaScript merging or external uh, JavaScript libraries, you can uh, uh, turn off uh, moving combined scripts to to the head end, uh, and it will be loaded right after CSS file. So uh, somewhere right here it will be loaded, and uh, maybe here will be some other scripts which you will have. And uh, there is also one useful option in an optrasive uh, JavaScript, uh, uh, an optrasive JavaScript tab. There is uh, include a combined JavaScript file before body. This will load, uh, this will load JavaScript file right after all the document is ready to be shown. So it will additionally uh, speed up your website. So you can just apply it. So we don't need to. Uh, since we don't need to refer the cache and uh, we see our source code yes uh, there is a, as you can see there is no uh, JavaScript file here but there is JavaScript file here it's great so right now we have uh, uh, we have uh, our white slow grid uh, 84 uh, and uh, if we uh, disable uh, disable our website speed up just to check uh, to check the difference and uh, uh, reload uh, reloads our slow website and uh, check our slow grid once more we see yes 67 so about 20 25 slow points in uh, two or three minutes of uh, simple merge. It's great.